Tensions flare as South Dakota's largest tribe has banished Governor Kristi Noem from its territories. The Oglala Sioux Tribe taking issue with Noem's recent characterization of growing crime on reservations and its ties to illegal immigration. The drugs and human trafficking pouring over the border, they devastate our people. Make no mistake, the cartels have a presence on several of South Dakota's tribal reservations. Murders are being committed by cartel members on the Pine Ridge Reservation and in Rapid City. And a gang called the Ghost Dancers are affiliated with these cartels. They have been successful in recruiting tribal members to join their criminal activity. In a detailed four-page response, Oglala Sioux Tribe President Frank Starr comes out, criticized Nome's repeated description of the border situation as an invasion and expressed deep offense to a sacred ceremony when Nome claimed a motorcycle club known as the Ghost Dancers were involved in murders on the Pine Ridge Reservation. Drug and human trafficking are occurring throughout South Dakota and surrounding states, not just on Indian reservations. Reservations cannot be blamed for drugs ending up in Rapid City, Sioux Falls, and even in places like Watertown and Castlewood, South Dakota. This was going on even when Trump was president. I and the Oate are deeply offended that you allege the ghost dancers are affiliated with these cartels. Due to the safety of the Owate, effective immediately, you are hereby banished from the homelands of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. The Republican governor responded Saturday to the tribe president's remarks. In the speech that I used, in specific reference to the Ghost Dancers a gang affiliated with the Banditos with ties to the Mexican cartels. So, um, you know, I understand that, that some of the words they would have appreciated being changed. Problem is, I didn't name that gang. Um, I, I did speak truth, and everything I said was absolutely true. And I've been working for years uh, to build relationships with our tribes. Crime rates on the Pine Ridge Reservation have been growing. In November 2023, Star Comes Out declared a state of emergency, citing the government's failure to provide enough law enforcement to the tribe. The Associated Press reports that just 33 officers and eight criminal investigators handle more than 100,000 emergency calls each year across the 5,400 square mile reservation. The Oglala Sioux Tribe is a sovereign nation based on treaties established in 1868. Tribal leaders argue that the treaty includes an obligation for the government to provide security for its members. The tribe sued the U.S. government, demanding it fulfill its treaty by providing funding for 120 law enforcement officers. Last year, a federal judge ruled in favor of the Oglala Sioux Tribe. However, the judge did not decide if the amount of funding the Oglala Sioux Tribe asked for is warranted, instead leaving that decision to federal officials and Oglala Sioux leaders to decide. Despite being banished, No maintains she remains an advocate for the Oglala Sioux Tribe in their struggle to secure more resources from the federal government. I've told their leadership, their tribal council and their president before, and our other chairman of our other tribes that if they were going to go to Washington, D.C. and sit with the federal government and ask for help on, on getting more tribal officers, getting more funding for law and order efforts, getting more funding for even education or their roads. We all know that our road funding in tribal areas is underfunded, uh, that I would sit there with them. I would go with them and be an advocate alongside of them. Governor Noem has sent South Dakota National Guard troops to the border three times. In 2021, she faced backlash for using a $1 million donation from a Republican donor to fund a deployment to the Texas border for two months. And she has repeatedly backed Texas Governor Greg Abbott's efforts to install razor wire along portions of the border. Governor Abbott has done the exact right thing, and I'll drive him more razor wire from South Dakota if I have to for him to do his job. What people forget is that governors are commanders in chief. We're responsible for the men and women of our National Guard. Star Comes Out suggests Nome is leveraging the border issue to support former President Donald Trump's reelection bid and to boost her own vice presidential prospects. Thank <music> you.